Hey Sonic Over here, welcome back to my channel. This is another short preview of one of my tracks called A Word in Edgewise. I think I'm gonna keep the title. And we have a nice expansive percussion kit here for you. I'm still tweaking on some things and making the instrumentation nice and tight. And uh, putting up the piano scroll using E as a shortcut. We have all this very, very nice data for our percussion kit. The data of our percussion kit. And we have a pretty much full, fully completed melody and harmony and bass line and all of that. Just some minor tweaks to bring some nuance and expression for the melody. But other than that, that is what it to. And this is our data for all our harmony and our melody and our bass line here. Alright. So, I got this percussion kit from a drummer track provided to you by Logic Pro. It's a very handy feature. And this is specifically Curtis, Neo Soul, from R&B. You can go ahead and swipe to the right and have all these genres, these styles and genres, and choose a drummer to your liking. And I'm gonna show you how I got an original drummer track in order, convert it to MIDI, Expand it, blow it out into the several tracks that you see here. So this is our region for our drummer track, and then our MIDI, which is our data, as you can see here. And it's not unlike that which you saw with all the other tracks, which I'll just go ahead and show you. our MIDI data for each individual track. About 13 tracks combined. I didn't change much, I just copied and pasted and, and deleted a few things to make it cleaner. But this is pretty much what this uh, gentleman Curtis provided to me, provided to me this evening to provide to you. Just go ahead and finish the song for you. The title of my album is still to be decided, but it's one of these track titles. It's a lot of MIDI data. So pretty much that is the, the song in its final form in terms of structure and instrumentation. A little bit more tweaking and it will be ready to go for your pleasure. <laughs> so what I wanted to show you, <clears throat> excuse me, what I wanted to show you was how I got this variety of percussion. If you are not familiar with drummer track, I, I highly recommend it. Uh, before this, I had, you know, you know, two about five tracks plus two percussion tracks, a kick and a 
percussive instrument that had some delay, and it was quite boring. It just wasn't enough. So I decided to play around with the drummer track to see what is interesting here. And this is what I will show you in another project, how I get a drummer track, convert to MIDI, and use each MIDI data, each row of MIDI data to include uh, or to use to produce an individual individual track for every part of the percussion, percussion section. All right, so we're going to start with a drummer track here. Electronic is fine. I think Curtis is R&B, so let's go ahead and select that and create. So we'll go ahead and start with eight bars. And let's see at uh, 130 beats per minute, let's see how that sounds. All right, it's okay, but not, not excellent. I like to start with a very slow percussion, not, not, not temporally slow, but something with sparse, some, something with space and, and sparse material. So what we will do is we will go ahead and bring this down to something soft and something that is not so complicated. So you can see that the MIDI data, well, it is data of some sort, does change. As, as you make it louder, make it more complicated. Uh, so going right along the x-axis will make it more complex. Going along to the left part of the x-axis axis will make it simple. And bringing it down will soften, as you can see that it has thinned out there. So something soft and something simple. Let's see how that sounds. All right, I already like that, and I'm going to divide that. And with the same information, I'm just gonna drag it a little bit to add a little bit more variance, not too much, but just a little bit more variation. It's not much, so I'm going to add just a tiny bit more. All right, that's great. So now you can see that we have two regions. And notice that when I highlight this region from bars one through five, or one, two, five, I should say, we have our measures here. And the playback is all the way to the end as I have it here. If I just drag it either from here all the way down, you can see that the play, playback went all the way to the start. And if I just drag it here, you will see that that playback here in the drummer track module follows suit. So I think that's really cool. And let's go ahead and highlight this. We can see that we are on measure five going to measure nine. And we will add a little bit more. If you wanted the same region, but moved over, repeated I should say, it's Command R, that is your shortcut. And we will even include a little bit more. In fact, a little more complicated, a little more complex as it says, and adding a tambourine with some fill. And copying that, or I should say repeating that, Command R, and just even a little bit more. That's a little bit too much. We'll say, yeah, something, something like that. All right, and so that's that's fine there. And let's just imagine that your melody is just about to enter. So you want some drive. You want you wanted to bring the listener to the main musical statement that is your melody. And I would just go all in, so nice and loud, and add a little bit more fill. Oh, oops. Let's uh, let's actually add this. 
I think I was here somewhere. So there we go. And then fill there. Very good. And something like that. So that is our main melody. too much that's that's fine uh, all right so you can see the difference um, as as I have it down here in this module something loud and something a little bit more complicated versus the beginning region where it's very soft and very uh, on the uh, on the low end so let's say that's what you wanted for your music composition looks good to me so what we do is select the track and we will duplicate it and the reason why we want to duplicate it is because we want to convert it to MIDI data, but I like to keep things in their original form just in case I want to refer back to it. So I select it all and hitting uh, option and then drag. We just it's supposed to work. Let's try that again. All right, working this time. All right, so we go ahead and I would say mute this. Um, actually, we don't have to and select that and convert to MIDI region. And there we go. We have our MIDI data. So let's just compare and contrast. And really there should be no contrast. It should be the same only in, in MIDI data. So let's hear that first one. We'll, we'll, we'll mute this and hear it and see if it's similar. All right, and see if it's similar here. I think I'm just going to take Logic's word for it. I think it is exactly the same. And so let's say you had your MIDI track and it sounds great, it sounds full, it has all the, the, the quiet spots and the space and the loud spots uh, as you like it and it's rhythmically dynamic. You could just go along with that MIDI track and, and bounce it with your other MIDI tracks, but if you do it the traditional way, you would want each percussion instrument to have their own tracks. So how do we do that? We go ahead and highlight our MIDI track and let's just do a few of these. Uh, let's see how many Logic picked up. Quite a, quite a few, you know, over 10. And we will just do about three of them. So we will just do kick, snare, side stick, and hi-hat closed. Let's duplicate this, our, our MIDI track, and, and Bring that to scale. And again, and again, and call this, kick, uh, not lock, kick, and snare side stick. And also, I keep missing this, <laughs> hi hat. Closed. All right, go ahead and highlight that again. Highlight kick. And notice if you tap this with your mouse or, or also the, the key, it will highlight that whole row of MIDI data. And that's quite handy. Let's bring our playback head all the way here. You can see, of course, that the kick is on that strong beat. Now, I wanted to mention one thing I love about the drummer track, and that is its humanizing form. It's quite human in its form. This is all data, and this Curtis gentleman doesn't exist outside the digitized version. Uh, but Logic and, and the makers of Logic were very careful to keep these people, these, these drummer tracks, uh, quite, quite human. So you'll notice that there is a little bit of overlap here and just bring that over and also things don't quite line up to the line up to the bar as you see here oh, I, I miss that <laughs> there you go and so that 
bit of, uh, or I should say lack thereof in terms of quantization, really makes it a human element. And I don't really quantize. We do expect quantization for electronic instruments, but this is an electronic track, but with some human drummers or hum human drummers. So anyway, I, I like that it's not quite set on that on that bar. It's not quantized. Unless something is completely off, I don't typically quantize these rows. So all that to, to say, let's go ahead and highlight our kick drum. And we have the cursor right at that and we will move over to this kick track. Uh, I, I did copy that data and now I'm pasting it. And there we go. Let's go ahead and move along to the snare side stick and move the cursor over here. In fact, we'll try to move it right. And it doesn't look like I will. Actually, it did. All right, that's nice. That is nice. So we'll leave that playhead there. I think it's called playhead. Uh, catch playhead. Yeah, that's what it's called. All right. So leave that cursor there. I called it a cursor. It's a playhead. All right, and that was copy and paste. And lastly, let's do the hi-hat closed and make sure we bring it all the way to its position. It looks like it is uh, just before the second beat, right there. Copy that and paste that. Where'd it go? All right, there we go. It worked nonetheless. So let's go ahead and have a listen. Let's see how this sounds. And there you go. Made data for you. Three rows already for your percussion purposes. Hopefully you enjoyed that. That is how I made one track go into 13 tracks for you there for my piece, A Word in Edgewise. So thanks always again for watching and listening. Always be on the lookout for some sound experimentation every Thursday. And until then, happy composing and happy experimenting on your end. And I will catch you later. Thanks again.